Hello guys, this is Pedro Amraofi and you are watching the trading review of today's market. We are going through the uh, stock market and uh, of course the forex pairs as well. And at the end of this uh, program we are going to see what is going on with the uh, cryptocurrency market prices and the, with the cryptocurrency uh, pairs as well. Uh, mostly the news background of the market haven't changed for past uh, few weeks as you know the federal reserve system is not going to hike the interest rate it's not going to uh, make the monetary policy more tighter and uh, janet yellen yesterday actually told us uh, she's a treasury secretary that uh, the high inflation is acceptable actually for now but it would be acceptable for example more lower about uh, after the 2022 after 2022 it would get more lower so uh, now actually you have to know that dollar prices could really be under pressure and uh, of course s&p 500 could really continue to ri continue to rise but uh, the situation with, which we have here uh, for s&p 500 for now, it's kind of correctional. Maybe we are actually observing uh, lowering or shrinking of volatility. And let's uh, go through the four hours chart to see what is going on with the S&P 500. Here we have actually widening uh, of the volatility as well. So uh, we kind of could observe a reversal in the near future. And this reversal could be correctional. And as you know, to find the correctional uh, reversal borders to just uh, put your take profit or even uh, to just uh, distinguish the risk potential, it have to be the middle of the previous uh, impulse, which is about uh, 4,500 uh, 4, or 4,450. Uh, there is a risk potential uh, of the fall of S&P 500 in the near future uh, and it would be correctional and uh, if it would be so impulsive that would be a really good signal of next um, actually upward movement as well uh, so here, here's the situation which we have and uh, as you know the opposite correlation of the US dollar to S&P 500 exists and um, dollar prices now are kind of testing a mirror level which is about 94. 94. And uh, in the daily chart we have a kind of uh, stop of downward movement about 4 previous days, 5 previous days and uh, this stop of the downward movement maybe could continue in the near future. So maybe we could have an impulsive retest of the mirror level of 94 or 94, 10 or 15. So uh, actually we kind of know that the probability of uh, S&P 500's correctional downward movement and dollar prices correctional, correctional upward retest uh, of the uh, local resistance is kind of exist it's high and um, due to the economic calendar of today's at two o'clock by g uh, by gmt we have a uh, consumer confidence which is inflational uh, release and uh, new home sales which is kind of rising but inflation shows that uh, in the short term, maybe it's going down. So uh, this factor as well would be bad for dollar prices during the day. So to find uh, trading solutions during the day, we have to actually look through the four hours chart, one hour chart, or maybe even 15 minutes chart. So uh, let's see what we got <coughs> here for S&P 500 due to the four hour chart and we're going to change our scale we're going to go lower lower and lower to find some trading solutions for day traders uh, one hour chart we have a stop here actually and the 15 minute chart 
the widening of the volatilities kind of exists but uh, here till the moment we get under 4560 or 4550 we could be kind of be sure about the next upward movement so if the amplitude if the impulse if the candle sizes if the size of the candles don't get bigger or if uh, we won't get the formation of any paranormal candle in the near future during this downward correctional movement to 4550 or maybe 4560 uh, in the case of the retest of this uh, support we could actually get reversed but we have to be careful to not to get pushed to this support if you get pushed to the support it would be bad news uh, paranormal candles which get closed in the 15 minute charts in the hour chart which get closed in the near future above uh, 4550 uh, would be good news for buyers <coughs> and could be the good news for people who are going to buy it further buy the S&P uh, 500 further so what is going on with the dollar prices in the near future as we see uh, due to the four hours chart and uh, the situation which we have here is the retest of local resistance and of course the mirror level about which i already told you uh, about 94 94 mark 93 maybe 80 that's a range of mirror level which is now getting retested uh, do we have a reversal here now in the near future i think so because due to the uh, economic calendar we have a negative releases today for dollar which is uh inflational and uh, which is the consumer confidence which is getting lower actually what we have next thing right yeah we don't have anything next for today and the economic calendar is really not rich it's really empty it's kind of empty so volatility could be really low and uh due to the dollars index uh, reversal and the probability of dollars index reversal from the uh, local resistance of 94 you can actually say that maybe for euro and pound the situation would be more positive let's go through the unit uh, to euro two dollar pair and uh, let's go and check pound dollar pair as well uh, due to the daily chart of pound dollar and euro dollar uh, we actually kind of don't have a probability of a long-term upward movement because of these two candles which have closed with a really big uh, upward uh, upside shadow which means that the situation in the near future could be really downward I mean during next days uh, it could be really cost to uh, cost the euro and pound to get more lower mm. What about the closure of today's candle, which is which actually have closed above the yesterday's candle, which is a good signal of the near future upward movement. Let's check the four-hour chart. What is what is uh, what is going on here in the uh, in the due to the four-hour chart? We actually have a retest of local support here, and uh, the accumulation here could really mean. That prices could get maybe even lower but for buyers here and uh, for the bulls we have a really low range of the risk which could actually uh, which we could take just take and uh, which is about 1.50 I'm sorry 1.1570 at and uh, it would be about 1. 1580 to 1.5070 is a good range of risk if we choose it and if you start to buy it maybe if we get uh, the impulsive retest of this local support after that after the retest of this local support we could get uh, pumped again because of the previous really uh, long and paranormal uh, candle which have been which actually retested this local uh, support 
So here's a signal of next uh, upward movement in the euro and about pound upward movement is actually continuing even due to the daily chart and uh, let's look through the 4 hour chart and as we see here we have a kind of formation and the pressure to the local uh, to the local resistance which is kind of which is kind of a really good level actually 1.38 let's say 1.38 if we get retested uh, 1.38 and we get reversed after the retest of this level that won't be really good for pound prices but if we get uh, strength about 1.38 it will be a really good signal for bull and for buyers in the midterm future in the midterm and uh, for two or three days after it will be a really good signal if we get strengthened uh, in the four hour chart in the one hour chart if we get really strengthened above uh, 1.38 and uh, continue the rise <coughs> and let's go what is going uh, let's go and see and check what is going on with the commodity team with the risk assets like gold silver as you know we have a risk uh, pairs uh, as like as United States dollar two Japanese yen and United States dollar two Swiss franc which are also the uh, risk pairs and uh, by risk pairs or the by risk assets or commodity we mean that when the situation on the market get more harsh or on the stock market get more harsh uh, the price of these currencies for example Japanese yen uh, Swiss franc and of course gold prices as well get higher. Uh, what we have nowadays in the market is we have a kind of a probability of the S&P 500 reversal which is uh, for now uh, maybe just a prediction but uh, we have just to wait and look what would go on next. Due to the gold prices and the closure of uh, and the actual opening this today's candle about the maximum and the closure of yesterday's candle it have to be good news for gold price but let's see what is going on in the near future in the four hours chart as we see we have a breakthrough as we said yesterday we had a program yesterday uh, we had a breakthrough of the local resistance and the retest of the next resistance uh, 1800 that's a really important level for gold and if we get strengthened about about I don't know not exactly above it but just about one uh, 1800 this would be a really good signal for next buyers but uh, this shadow really makes me uncomfortable for buying and of course uh, the situation which could really change in the near future because of the Mm, because of the lockdowns in the near future it, this factor just could help uh, gold prices to rise further or for example the escalation of the situation between China and the United States as well can help uh, gold prices to go along but mm, we are actually waiting for the lockdowns and uh, as you know many countries have been vaccinated many countries haven't been vaccina vaccinated but uh, the probability of the lockdowns are still exist on the market so gold prices about them uh, could we be really pessimistic uh, I can just say tell you that we can wait for a correctional downward movement and after the after this correctional downward movement finishes, we could actually think about buybacks for gold uh, about 1790-1785 uh, about this range to this range we actually could get dumped in the near future but we have to be careful that uh, any strengthening above 1800 could be a really good signal for buyers in the near future so for gold prices maybe due to the 4 hour chart we have the continuation of uh, the downward correction but let's see what is in one hour chart for gold prices mm. here actually we don't have any powerful level but uh, maybe a bit a little further 
under the 1,800, about 1,700, maybe 95 would be a good level to get retested in the near future. So it would be a good target for sellers in the near future. But uh, you have to really pay attention. 1,800, that's the main level. That's the most important level. And uh, the strengthening above this level could mean that the prices could continue to rise. And uh, if we get dumped under this level or get stopped under this mark, this could mean that prices could really go further downward. So uh, if you have any decision, if you want to make any decisions, just pay attention to uh, the retest of 1,800. Let's see what's going on with the United States dollar to Japanese yen. Uh, as you remember, uh, the monetary policy, policy of Japanese uh, bank is really uh, kind of um, soft. And uh, they are not so interested in the strengthening of their own currency because of the export, because when the currency value is more lower, the exports are uh, cost less and because of this fact because of the gdp of japan is uh, actually mostly uh, have been made from uh, the profit of gdp of japan is kind of coming from its own experts uh, the japanese yen uh, weakening is really good for japan and uh, as you see the japanese bank as well is not really interested to uh, <coughs> make the harsher or maybe even tight uh, monetary policy in the near future. Uh, what we have technically due to the due to this chart, uh, as you all as you all have already maybe um, understood, we retested a really important level of uh, the maximum of two thousand seventeen. The maximum of 2017, the maximum of the price uh, which have been retested during the last uh, previous uh, four years, actually, for previous four years. And uh, now we are kind of stuck above this level. It's about 115, 115. So we won't get above 115. This could be really bad news for dollar. And this could be really bad news for the dollar in the long term because uh, the United dollar to Japanese yen shows the correlation about, uh, correlation between the dollar prices with the uh, risk asset, with the risk uh, currency, with the commodity, or maybe gold. So in the near future, we could really be more positive about the rise of gold prices, the stop of upward movement of this pair and maybe even the uh, renewing the update the renewing of the maximums or the highs of s p 500 as well uh, so the correlations are really important technically due to due to the daily chart here for today's day we have a good news because we could really <coughs> see the continuance of upward movement but uh, let's see the forever chart as well here's a mirror level which is getting retested and the amplitude is getting lower so this impulse the next impulse and then the next retest of 140 that 114 20 114 20 114 10 uh, would mean that in which direction the prices could actually go further so the direction would be upward or uh, downward if we get strength above 114 and uh, 40 at least this could be a good uh, that this could be a really good signal for bulls but i'm not so sure about the continuation of an upward movement uh, more than 114 40. so maybe this level could be the last point uh, of four buyers to just fix the profit and just leave the market and because of this uh, divergence which we have here and the widening of uh, the volatility 
the probability of the next downward reversal is really high. The downward reversal, which could really continue during the midterm. So, uh, crude oil prices, which we are watching now. And the pattern should we have the widening of the volatility here as well. So, <coughs> the reversal signal actually exists. And the situation of the oil market, as you know, is really related to the energy crisis which is continuing nowadays because uh, Russia kind of cannot uh, send to Europe the amount of gas that they need and uh, the oil market is gets its impact from the Iran and United States nuclear deal as well which is kind of get ex escalated uh, during the past week, uh, last week actually. Uh, this candle, this downward candle which we have here daily is a, it was a real good signal from yesterday for sellers to just start sell, sell and sell. Uh, due to the 4 hour chart as you see we have the continuation of downward movement but the channel which is here exists is kind of tell us that maybe the downward movement could get <coughs> Uh, could get uh, stopped uh, after the retest of the $82.60 or maybe $82.80. So here we actually have a good signal of the breakthrough of local support. But uh, this kind of amplitude and uh, lower the loaning, uh, the lower. Uh, impulse which we have here, uh, the impulse are actually getting lower, and uh, this factor could mean that maybe this is uh, this is uh, actually a breakthrough after which we get we get just retest the local support, and next we kind of start to rise again. Uh, that's the first part, but historically, about this support, what we can say historically price retest the support and mostly and mostly it gets stuck under it during the last week if you can say so if we get stuck under this level under 83 maybe this would be a good psychological level under 83 till we get stuck uh, till we uh, we are actually located above this level everything is could be okay and the impul impulsive retest of this level would be okay as well but if we get stuck under this level uh, this would be a really bad <coughs> signal and you have to pay attention if we get stuck uh, after the after the formation of a really long or paranormal candle bearish candle under this level this would be the uh, signal of just the speculation of just the bearish speculation uh, and after that we could kind of uh, we could kind of uh, get involved in a in an upward continuation of the movement so be careful how we are going to retest this local support if we get retested really impulsively this could be the sign of next upward movement and uh, if we get stuck uh, under it, due to the one hour chart candle formation or due to the four hour chart candle formation, if we get stuck under it, uh, this would be a good signal of the next downward movement continuation in the midterm. And uh, the United States dollar to Canadian dollar, as you know, Canadian dollars uh, it has a correlation with oil prices, and when oil prices get pumped, the, United, the Canadian dollar uh, actually rise, and when the oil prices get dumped, uh, the Canadian dollar falls and for this pair the United States dollar power which is kind of getting weak kind of it's kind of weak and it's kind of started the reversal movement from the uh, from the top of the market and uh, due to the crude oil prices which is kind of as well getting down from the top of the market the price of United States dollar at two Canadian dollar could really continue the consolidation. So when the price of two uh, 
parts of one pair are both rising or falling in one moment in a uh, in one moment in one week it could be continued uh, to during a month or maybe just a day when they are both rising or falling the price of the pair could continue the consolidation uh, what we have here due to the daily chart a very beautiful signal of a reversal but uh, let's see what exactly we have due to the 4-hour chart which is a less bigger scale and uh, if you pay attention you pay attention we had a really important and mirror level Uh, which is uh, actually near to the local resistance of 1.24 but I will take uh, the range of 1.24, 1.2440 uh, like a border of the next retest it would be the border of the next retest and if we get to retest this level 1.24 or 1.2440 really impulsive this could be a signal of next uh, reversal. If we get uh, strength above these levels and above this range, this could be a really good um, signal of a next dollar price rise to Canadian dollar. And uh, as we get more um, close to next lockdowns and uh, the um, actually next year, maybe this scenario could get really uh, realized. So, in the long term, maybe this reversal could mean something, but in the short term, this reversal could really get, um, could really make uh, bulls and buyers uh, kind of disappointed. So, uh, we need to just look at this uh, reversal signal as a long term signal or maybe mid term signal. Due to the Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum prices, as we see the widening of volatility is continuing for bitcoin let's look what is going on due to the daily chart we had retested the sixty thousand dollars we had retested the sixty thousand dollars and now we get stuck above this level uh we could actually get more lower because the amplitude is really low and the energy is kind of the energy of upward movement is really low as well and uh, due to the four hour chart due to the four hour chart and due to the important levels which we have near to the price action uh, 63,000 and uh, 60,000 is a range which could get retested in the near future so if we get stopped inside this range or if we get stuck under this range this would be a bad signal of uh, the next midterm downward movement of bitcoin prices but if we get impulsively retest this range this could be a really good signal for buyers to continue the buys and uh, the ethereum prices <coughs> here we actually see the opening of today's candle the, uh, due to the daily chart the opening of today's candle above the closure the closure of yesterday's candle which uh, could mean that prices could really continue to rise but due to this candle due to, due to this shadow uh from the upper side of the previous week scandal uh be, be really sure about next upward movement or next rise of this asset it's kind of unlogical we kind of uh, can see the shrinking of volatility, uh, which could mean that prices, maybe at the near future, could get dumped really harshly. And four thousand dollars is could be a good sig a good level to get retested. If we get to retest, if we actually retest this level really impulsively, it would mean that prices could just continue the consolidation. And uh, the only signal to start the short positions is the pressure to 4000 if we get pressure or if we get squeezed to the $4000 uh, level this could be it's, it's 
would mean that the prices further could really kind of get dumped and uh, go further. Uh, thank you guys that you watched this video. If you have any questions, you can actually uh, ask about them and write your comments under this video. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel and ring the bell so you would know what kind of programs we have in the future which you don't actually want to uh, miss. Uh, till next time guys, have a good tradings and bye bye.